Hey everybody, I'm Adrian. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I am going to be taking you through step-by-step -step how to edit a video in Premiere Pro. If this is your first video of mine, then welcome. I have almost 20 years of experience in video production, and I started this channel in an effort to start passing along all of my knowledge to all of you. Now I do have a PDF if you are looking to start doing some video recording of your own, but you're having trouble figuring out how to make a setup that is movable and not permanent in your home. I have guidelines and diagrams linked down below in the description box. And of course, if you'd like to see more, I hope you'll subscribe. And now let's get started editing. Premiere Pro is open. Over here in the top left corner, you have New Project. Go ahead and click New Project. Right up here also in the upper left hand corner is where you're going to name your project. Please, 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 always, always, always name your project. I'll call this one Test. Right next to it, you can see here Project Location. It's really important to pick a location so that you're not left hunting for this project if you need to edit it in multiple sessions. I'm just going to save this one to the desktop. There are a couple of different ways to import footage. The first way is on this window on the left. For this project, I'm just going to use footage from a previous video that I made. You can see here I've titled this folder footage. I'm going to check the box and all of the footage in that folder will import. You can see over here on the top right, you have import settings. This says new bin. A bin is also a folder in Premiere. It's just another word for folder. If you want all of your footage to be stored inside of a bin in your project in Premiere Pro, you can give it a name. Bin one. Now all of the footage that you've selected here in the center will be imported into that bin in Premiere in your project. Create new sequence. A sequence is also a timeline. They're the same thing in Premiere, sequence timeline. If you want to go ahead and make one so that it opens, this is where you do it. So it's already toggled on. I'm gonna title my sequence YouTube. It'll be the YouTube sequence. And then maybe I'll make Instagram reel sequences or maybe a YouTube short sequence later on. If you decide to make a sequence here on this window, the footage that you import will automatically be laid out on the timeline for you when you open your project. Now you go down here to the bottom right, click this big blue button, create. Welcome to Premiere Pro. Let's take a tour and see what it is that you're looking at. You can see down here in the bottom left, this folder has been created, bin one. And if you open it, all of the footage imported into that bin for me. Another way of importing footage is to drag and drop. I have my finder window open and I'm going to drag this other footage from another project. There it is, footage. And you can see that when you add it, it maintains whatever folder structure you've created. Something to check is to make sure you are in the editing workspace. Go up here to the top right, click, and make sure to check editing. Let's take a tour of Premiere and talk about what it is we're looking at. You have four main windows. Down here on the bottom left is your project panel. Up here top left is your source monitor. This is where you're gonna preview your files. If you go down to your project panel, double click on a clip, you can see that it opens up in the source monitor and that's where you'll be able to watch it. On the top right here is your program monitor. This window is tied to the timeline. And then finally, you have the toolbar. There are a lot more workspaces and tools that are available, but today, keeping it simple. We're going to stick with the default editing workspace and we're only going to use two tools. The select tool 
and the razor tool. I want to show you another way to make a new sequence. Go over to your project panel, right click, new item, sequence. Doing that will open up this window that gives you timeline presets. So you can select one of those. If you don't know your frame rate or the resolution of your footage, so you don't know which one of those presets to select, that is fine. Open up your footage, right click on a clip. New sequence from clip. And there it is. It will appear right here. And this is where you edit your video. Now the clip that you just selected is the clip that's on the timeline. Now don't worry, if you want to, you can always delete this clip, but it doesn't delete the sequence, so it's okay. The timeline will not go away. If you want to do something like zoom in on the timeline, you have a couple of options. You can use this bar along the bottom. You can hold the plus or minus key, or you can hold alt or option while scrolling with the mouse. I like to make the tracks bigger. This is way too small for me. Go over to the left and just double click on both tracks. Now you can see an image of your video and you can see the waveform of your audio. There are two different ways to play on the timeline. You can either hit your space bar or you can move your playhead around in order to scrub through the footage. You've laid out your footage, you've decided what you want and what you don't want. So that means that there's stuff that you want to cut out. That's when you use the razor tool. You can either go over to the toolbar and select it, or you can press C on your keyboard. Moving the playhead to where you want your cut to be really helps that cut to be exact. You can also not use the razor tool. A shortcut is to move the playhead to your cut spot and then click either Control or Command K. Now you're done making your cuts. You don't want the razor tool anymore. Go over to your toolbar and either click the selection tool or press the letter V. You've made your cuts and this is the clip that you want to delete. This is either a pause or a mistake. To delete it, simply select and click delete. Now, as you can see, that creates a gap. How do we get rid of that gap? Take your mouse, hover over the gap, right click, and then hit ripple delete. Now, as you can see, it closes the gap by taking footage on the timeline and shifting it left. Side note, if you have made a mistake that you wanna fix, click either Control or Command Z to undo. Go over to your project panel, select your clip, and double click. Now, what you want to do is select an in and out point. These are the same as a start and stop point. Take your playhead and scrub to the middle of your clip and hit I for in, and then scrub your playhead along to where you want your selection to end, and hit O for out. Now grab the image and drag it down to your timeline. And you can see you have video and audio. Oftentimes I find that I either want just video or just the audio from a clip. Go up to your source monitor and hover over this icon, drag video only, and this is drag audio only. You have edited your video. Now it's time to export and show it to your audience. To export your video, go up here to the top left to export. You can see over here on the left that you have several options. Media file, YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter, etc. I'm just gonna stick with media file. Go over to file name. You wanna give everything a unique name so you're not hunting for it because you can't remember what it's called. I'm just calling all of this test. Always, always, always pick your location. I am just saving this project to the desktop. Below location, you'll see preset. If you open this, you see you have lots of options. I think you should stick with match source adaptive high bitrate, and your format is H.264. Finally, go all the way down to the bottom right to the big blue button and click export. 
Congratulations! You've just exported your very first video. Leave a comment below and share any keyboard shortcuts that you have that make navigating Premiere Pro faster and easier for you. And I'll see you in the next one.